Hello everybody, how are you doing? My name is Fahad Ali. This video is about the insert into Slack statement in MySQL. First of all, let me just define you what is the insert into Slack. Okay, so this statement simply copies the data from one table and insert it to another table. Alright, so without wasting our time, let's just have a look at the code. Okay, so first of all, I want to insert the data of customers table into this regular customers table all right so it is a table but it doesn't have any values in it so let me just show you regular you can see we don't have any data in it so how can we just simply put the data of the customers into the regular customers okay one more thing here if you want to put all the columns into the another table there is a condition that the both of the tables must have the same number of columns all right so let me just do this thing here insert into regular customers select from customers all right so let me just run this code okay the values are inserted now let just take if we have any value in our regular customer tables or not from Qler. okay so let me just run this thing okay now you can see here that we have the same data of the customers into the regular customer table so this is how we insert it but if we have the different number of tables in our table so what will happen so i also have another table dummy it does have one more column let me just show you here but it doesn't have any data okay so select this thing okay now you can see here we have the four columns in it and we don't have any data in it so let's just you know try to insert the thing in it so let me just run this thing okay we are having an error that the column count doesn't match okay you can't assign the value if the number of columns is different in both of the tables all right Okay, so this is how you insert all the columns into an another table from a one table, alright? But what if you want to insert a single column or the two column or any specific column? So how you are gonna do this? So let's just do this thing as well. For that, let me just first select new table which is anonymous customer table. Okay, it doesn't have any data right now. Okay, you can see here we are having only two columns and we don't have any data. So if I just show you. Okay, I want to insert the first name column and the last name column into the anonymous customers columns. Alright, so how am I going to do this? We have the different number of columns in both of the tables. So for this you got to do here is, let me just copy this thing here. Okay, pass. Now you have to specifically declare the columns here. Okay, so first and okay, the last. Alright, and from here you also have to specifically declare. Select name last now you can see the things clearly okay so this is how we specifically insert the columns number of columns depends on our need or requirement into another table so let me just run this code we have inserted the values now let me just check out the anonymous customer whether we got any data or not okay now you can see here that we got the data of the first name and the last name into the first and the last of the anonymous customers table all right so this is how you can specifically insert the data into the columns specific columns and this is all for this video if you really find this helpful hit the like button and subscribe the channel and bye bye